So, and they're you know they're big, obviously, when you have Ridley and, and Lambert and Holmes uh, uh, playing inside. But, uh, they're fast. Rick's got a fun team, uh, and they're obviously playing their tails off. But uh, uh, you know, we we don't we don't run a ton of stuff, uh, but we run things to get it to the third side and things like that. So now a lot of times the guys will just try to uh, make sure we got to the third side before we even went to score. And, and now if there's something that happens before the end, I mean, the guys are just more aggressive to take it, which is good. Will this be a, a good test for Joel going against a, a front court that can kind of match on the size of yeah, this? Yeah, because yeah, uh, uh, Cameron's big. I mean, he's, he's I don't know about who's taller, but he's a legit seven foot kid too, and or, or both six eleven and a half or whatever. But he's, he's got weight on him. And, uh, he's got himself in great shape. So yeah, this would be a good test for our front line, without question. And certainly Holmes can step step away from the basket. So um, I'm, I'm excited to see how Joe reacts, and I'm sure he'll be excited to play against Joe. Do you guys expect Tark to be able to play tomorrow night? Yeah, I do. I, I, I think that he'll be available to us. Mike, Mike could have played him a little bit, but that would have been a bad matchup but, uh, with a bad wheel guard on the front against Iowa State. But we do think that he was, he'd be able to go uh, tomorrow, and he practiced yesterday. I had, I had him scrimmage uh, with the guys that, were, that did play a lot of minutes and he the rest of his Do you know that Texas has beaten three ranked teams on the road? I did know that. And, and you know, it, it had, four hadn't happened since '97, and now we got in our league we get a chance to have it happen twice in in, uh, in uh, two weeks. So I, I told I told our guys our our goal obviously is not to let that happen. We, we, we need to go down there with a great mindset. But they'll they'll, they'll play with a free mind and they'll play hungry. Byron's is having a great year. Yeah, yeah, he's having a terrific year. He he uh, you know they, they lost so many players off last year's team. Last year, anything that could go wrong, it seems like it did go wrong with this, with this team because of uh, suspensions and embargo and, and so many other things. And, and he's got a core group of guys that he obviously likes working with. They don't come for him. And, and you, know, you, you can just tell that the energy is different. Uh, you know, Rick, Rick's a great coach. And uh, last year was certainly uh, the exception and not the rule. You know, every, every, every coach or every program I'm surprised. They always been a good team, uh, great coach. So, uh, and they're pretty hot right now. So, uh, it's a good league. You know what I'm saying? Like any team could come out, and come out there and win it any night. So, I'm definitely not surprised. What's been most impressive about kind of the teams Texas has beat so far in Big 12? Um, they pretty much beat. Uh, uh, they're five and two, so they pretty much play a good group of competition. And um, they're obviously pretty hot right now. I mean, I don't know how many games they won in a row, but uh, uh, they're like I think we broke the record, like set a record this year for uh, rank opponents beat. And um, they, if they beat us, they tie the record this year or something like that. So um, we obviously don't want to let that happen. So uh, that's pretty much it. They're pretty good teams. Young teams in the past and even this year have struggled. Um, you, know, you look at Kentucky's class, what they've done, and here you guys are, a young team, and you guys seem to just keep going and going. What's what is it about this group or this coaching staff that allows you, to, you guys to just maintain um, you know, what previous teams have done? Um, definitely, we have uh, a lot of young guys, but I think we also have like a couple guys that have been a little seasoned, sprinkled in there a little bit. Uh, Nadir, Targ, obviously, he comes out there and. Uh, I'm not as seasoned as those guys, but I look I look at myself as one of the guys who've been around. I've been I was on the team who went to the the national championship game. I've seen it. I wasn't really that playing, but I seen it and I was like there. So uh, I pretty much know a little bit more than they would. But um, as far as that too, we have guys that are pretty talented as a, uh, as freshmen. So uh, like uh, like I said, like uh, got great coaches, great uh, great coaches. So they get out there and make great players and make.